Bob, good afternoon. Not too bad, not too bad. Thanks for calling. Hang on, let me just... I'm in Aurelia's house. I'm just going to go out in the garden. No, I'm fine. Thanks for calling back. I didn't, did you get my email? Which email was that? I sent you an email when immediately I saw that thing had been circulated. No, I didn't see that one. Okay, so um, that actually explains why I'm upset. Because I am very upset. Look, I don't know whether you're aware of it. Your young lady has sent out the original. Not some abridged copy at all. It's John Lawson's report, which actually I own. Hello, you there? Yeah, let me just double check that. Um, Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for the, the email, Bob. You can look at it, you can, you can look it up, look for it afterwards. But my whole point on this, I'm well aware that you read the report. I'm well aware that we had the a tentative business potential relationship between you and I. And you can never let somebody unread something. Now, if you remember the background to that report, um, and I'm playing by exactly the rules which I'm actually insisting everybody else keeps to. For, for the WCTI to endorse what I'm doing, it was important that they circulated it to the members in the Western Cape um, and got support for it before, before they endorsed. Now subsequently they endorsed the, the concept of, of my creating a design house on the Western Cape, which was to Quad, and when Quad was liquidated, I bought the rights to not only, I didn't just buy all the different equipment, I bought the rights to other, other data, including the support of the WCTR, which was also signed across to the lead, and I paid for it. So in that report is a hell of a lot of IP, specifically this, this references to, to which I did for John. Now, like I said, and you, and you did, and I actually said it in the email to you, I haven't got a problem when you phone me and say, Bob, you know, I've read this report and I'm setting up something similar. Well, you already know I haven't got a problem. But Mickey, circulating it to everybody in his dog, you know, isn't part of a cluster. There's no agreement, there's nothing. It's really compromised me. So I'm hacked off. I'm very hacked off that that thing has just gone out to anybody. Potential competitors, the words. I mean, that's a lack of consideration, thought, and plain decency. Hello? Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Bob. I'm just looking for exactly what went out so that I can oh, answer you. You can take it, you can take it as red. I'm not inventing it. Your young lady sent the damn thing out to everybody in his dog. And, and I am not part of your cluster, nor have you even got a cluster. This is just a glory send it out. So, you know, give it away. I mean, it, it's crazy. Crazy. Bob, who paid for the, um, yeah. Bob, I actually don't want to go into an argument here with you because I actually do not agree with what you are saying at all. Mickey Skippers, hello. Bob? Hello? Hello, Bob, it's Mickey. Yes, I know. Yes, Bob, I really don't appreciate the way that you're talking to me at the moment. I, I don't, Hang I don't on. appreciate what you've done to me. I'm going to uh, Bob, explain to me. I don't appreciate what you've done. I believe you're an unethical asshole. Bob, that's I'm your opinion. I, I, I really... You. I believe you are the epitome of somebody who's unethical. You don't understand it. Bob, what in this? Uh, Dell, just. There, there, is, there is a lot of my personal IP in that document, and you just distributed it without any thought whatsoever. You don't care 
about what I've invested, what risks I'm taking now, you just distributed it out there. You have got no right to do it. And you signed a non-disclosure agreement with me. At the time you worked on that, you were walking around with quad regional managers cards. That's the quad that went under Bob. Bob, Bob I think I, Bob, I think I think I don't deserve this, and I think you are being very unreasonable. Bob, how much of my IP is Bob? How much of my own IP is in that document, Bob? Every time you turn around, you're going to find me looking over your shoulder. Great stuff, Bob. You can do that, Bob. I cannot really understand what I did wrong here, Bob. Since when are we not? Uh, cooperating to, to rehabilitate this tooling industry. Since when? What? Since what? Since when aren't we cooperating to rehabilitate the tooling industry? Since when? What, what, what right have you got to circulate a document which I own? And believe me, I do own it. Well, Bob. Bob. Bob, that's your opinion, and you are entitled to your opinion. Bob, that's your opinion, and you are entitled to your opinion. Say again? What are you going to do, Bob? Sue me. Why? Why? With whom did I sign a non-disclosure agreement? Bob, did I call you to ask you if I can use this document? No, you did not. So you are saying I'm lying. You say I'm lying. If, if, if you, I can't make you unread something. You haven't used it. You put it on public domain. Okay. That's what you've done. You put it in the public domain. You haven't even got a relationship with the people you've distributed to. Uh, Bob. So any, any, Bob. any consideration that I made you brought, you Bob. Bob. Uh, Bob, sorry, you made me understand that the Western Cape Tooling is paid for John Lawson's study. Is that not correct? Look, I'm not going to give you the ammunition to defend yourself. You'll get that. I'm not defending. I'm asking happened. you a question. Why don't you want to answer my question? They endorsed me as their design house. And subsequently to that, because they endorsed Quad Precision, I have to pay to have it transferred over through the liquidator. But it's now the core and the backbone of my personal business plan. And you've actually distributed it to potential even competitors of your own. Bob, I respectfully dispute what you are saying. What, you have distributed it? No. <laughs> that, that document you belongs to you, you and it's just... You have distri you've distributed it, your young lady to distributed it in the name of your company in your venture, asking them to have to use it as the basis for creating a business plan. Uh, Bob, you're not correct. It's a departure I point. Correct. I am correct. It's a departure point that we need to use to work from somewhere. Bob, just opinion. Bob, just tell me. Can I ask you? Can you ask? Can I ask you a question, Bob? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can you give me a straight answer for, please? How much input did I have to the document? How much input did I have to that document, Bob? Very little. Very little. Most, but the important thing is, and, and don't forget, I will back it up, most of it, specifically the analysis of the marketplace, is a direct paste and copy from the business plan that I wrote. And I actually gave it to John specifically to put it in the copy there. Now that is it. You were asked to consider it, but it was on the basis of you having a relationship with me at the time. Because we were going to jointly do it together. Now, subsequently, that's fallen apart. But at that point, you were walking around with, with quad regional manager calling cards. You signed a non-disclosure agreement with me, and there's a head of agreement based on the, on the company that we were going to form. So, believe me, I've got no problems li linking the whole lot together and where the ownership is. But the, the point is, you just distributed this thing 
without any thought whatsoever. You haven't got a cluster. You haven't even selected the people who are involved. But you've given away the information. That's dangerous, but more than dangerous, it's stupid. You cannot believe how cross I am about this. Well, it's obvious that you are cross, Bob. I could, for my life of me, I can't just understand why. Oh, that's fine. So you must live with this. You must actually look at it. But believe me, our relationship is dead because I don't. You, you are at, at best, you're just plain stupid, and at worst, you're dishonest. Well, I um, I take exception to the fact that you're calling me dishonest, Bob, because well, I can't see anything well, in there in that that really could bring damage to you as a person. Nothing. There's nothing well, in there. Well, well. I can't see it, Bob. I can't see it. Okay, and I was brought on an understanding and from you, well, thank you. that thank you Western, Cape tooling, Western, Cape, tooling, Western Cape tooling Industry paid for that study. John Lawson did that study. I gave a lot of interviews to John Lawson for input to that study. As a matter of fact, the financials in there is based on what I gave him, not what you gave him. Bob, I called you, Bob, you are now, Bob, I called you specifically to ask if you have any problem with this. So, Bob, if you don't agree, I mailed you with, with specific questions. So please answer me on my email and tell me directly, black and white, Mickey, you are lying. Mickey Skippers never called Bob Williamson to ask Bob if I could use that document. Bob, I invite you to go and have... There's too many you things here yeah, I don't with understand. You so I, uh, you live with. Uh, Bob, I will live with. It. I have got no problem with with this whole thing. As far as I'm concerned, okay. As far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm picking up something very strange from the chairman of National TASA, and this is the whole attitude of nothing is to be shared. Everything is for ourselves. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Yeah. If, if I go into a cluster, yeah. And we Have you established a cluster, Bob? Yes. We're not establishing a cluster here, Bob. We are trying to put up a design function for the tooling industry. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You're naive, Mickey. You know, when, when we decide to work together, we will work together. 
work together with people. You haven't done that. You've even distributed it to non tarsal members. You've actually kicked it out there in the public domain. That's, there's a big difference, Mickey. Well, that's what you don't seem like, to understand. Bob, as far as I'm concerned, if a body... How many, how many of the TARSA members are going to distribute their personal company business plans to the marketplace? You won't find many of them will do it. And you haven't disclosed yours. You've disclosed the backbone of mine. That's what... Well, but I find it very strange at the date or at the time that we have built this business plan, you were running Quad where the major focus and turnover was on manufacturing. Now that Quad has gone under and has got into trouble and you have started a design company, now this is an issue. Yes, because why do you get tired? Because the truth is going to hurt, Bob. The truth is going to hurt. When was this, when was this document set up, Bob? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to take you apart. I believe you're dangerous to the industry. You're dangerous in business. And I'm going to go out of my way to actually have a go at you now. And I'm doing that openly. I'm telling you up front because I believe you are at worst a fool. And at best, you're dishonest. But I am very cross with you. You're that's that's clear, you. Bob. That's clear. You know, you some advice. And make you need a psychologist to do it because you're nuts. Goodbye. I don't want to speak to you again. I hold you in total contempt. 